I've heard this term pondo fever thrown around where you just kind of lose track of time. And it's very, very easy to understand why when you're sitting at a place like this. But um, we're heading further north. Um, Coffee Bay is just up the coast, not too far away. So it's not going to be a marathon drive. But um, the plan is to obviously spend a day or two there as well. so cool I love it when I way to Coffee Bay and I know it's like Rugby World Cup fever tomorrow is the final South Africa against the All Blacks but in the Transcar soccer is still a very very big part of the community and we drove past these kids they're getting ready to practice it's cool oh, hey guys you good you playing soccer? No. Hey. Are you playing a match? No. That's cool, eh? Yeah. It's been two weeks I've been teaching these kids, so it's also part of giving a hand to help the kids, teaching them Bible, yeah. and football, and also how to swim. So today is the day of the friendly of match, friendly match, actually. What's the name of the team? Uh, it's the Chosen Stars. The Chosen Stars, that's yeah, super cool. Yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> Good with a rugby ball, eh? Yes, it's this one. Yes, that's a, a play. We're also teaching them rugby. I no, know, but he's I, really, really good. He's yeah, got a very good pass, both sides. Yeah, he's a superstar. Right. Yeah. Both side, and what's happening play. tomorrow? It's a rugby world cup. You're gonna have support. That's a supporting who? Yeah, supporting us. Yeah, I'm Spring just checking. Board. Don't say the All Blacks. I'll be very upset. Ah, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. Springbok. What do you call it? Yeah, it's the Springbok. 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 Yes, it's cool. so What it's do Springbok. you say? How do I say it? It's Springbok. It's Springbok. Yeah, it's Springbok. It's Springbok. That, We're cool. gonna beat those All Blacks. I hear you. you. I hear you. Good luck with the soccer. Eh? We'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Are you happy? No, no. Can you smile? Well done, Reino. You never broke my surfboard. Whew. You're lucky. Maybe you can actually use the surfboard this time. Oh, that'll be great. <laughs> Not bad, eh? This is going to be our little hard out because the wind's been a nightmare basically most of this trip but we've arrived at white clad is the most beautiful place right on the edge we've got everything set up but we have been warned that there is a massive storm on the way what i like about this is it's got a bar it's got a tv world cup rugby is on what more can you ask for Season one, we still made a joke about the fact that we went right to the very end before we encountered rain. And I mean, no camping trip is fully appreciated and experienced without getting wet and trying to pack your stuff up. But we're only day six and it is raining. But what is also a flippin' nightmare, because of what happened um, with our massive awning here on our Bundu Trail, 
I haven't had a chance with the crazy winds yesterday to have a look at how much we can salvage. So that means we can't offer any protection around the kitchen. I can't put any of those drop down sides to weatherproof ourselves even further. So that's a bit of a problem. So no cooking. So we'll probably have to eat out today. Um, and for the doggos as well, it's, it's, not, it's not ideal. Um, but anyway, they, they're cozy. They're cuddling. What it does mean is I get to sleep a little bit later maybe. It's not a bad thing. Some people are morning people. Others not so much. <laughs> I can see that. Lots of rain. I've got these cool little jerseys for the dogs, which we thought, nah, we don't need to bring it, it's going to be warm. Hey, Mila, we need to get you a poodle, get your jersey sent up. Hey, you want a coffee? You want coffee? Okay, let's make a coffee. I just love it, eh? I mean, that's called glamping. Just lying there in the lap of luxury, and then, you know, making espresso. I mean, like, coffee's good enough. You should be happy with instant coffee. No, I'm not making an espresso. I'm grinding beans. Is that okay? I think it's great. We just want to do a few things. That's why we bought it. Mm -hmm. I don't do quick and easy. So our plan for today is actually a chill day. Um, I'm very, very keen to check out the surf because there are lots of good surf spots in Coffee Bay and conditions actually don't look too bad. We're also going to try and find out why Coffee Bay is called Coffee Bay. So check out a few of the coffee shops. We're watching the rugby final here tonight because it's a really cool little pub. We need to go and see Hole in the Wall, Baby Hole in the Wall now. And our reason for coming to White Clay is because it is the gateway to all of those things. So I think an extra day here um, so we can get to see it in, in better weather conditions, I think is going to be is going to be the way to go. I may as well have gone for a swim. So, Dormy over here, like he hasn't learned his lesson with our awning getting ripped in the wind. Honestly, it was raining and there was no wind and I thought, let me drop our privacy suite so that we can at least in the rain be sheltered and get our clothes out to go and shower. And then literally the minute I started putting it out, it was the storm hit us properly. Seriously, I'm <laughs> oh, by the way, this isn't my weather proof jacket anyway. <laughs> oh, well, we might as well sing in the rain, man. It's all part of the fun adventure. Can I get one mocha? And then two full breakfasts. And one three egg omelets. With cheese, mushroom. And bacon. And bacon. Thank you. Then I'll be a happy man. Getting, uh, not getting lucky on the surf front right <laughs> This morning the conditions were good, tide was low, uh, and now it's properly cross shore. Maybe when the tide pushes in it'll be a little bit better later on, but yeah, not ideal lane. I can't catch a break. It seems like we're not the only ones that are looking for a hideout from the elements. Check out these guys. So how's the fishing trip going? Lucky, eh? So fast. Well, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. As you can see, we're sitting inside. We're sitting in big cards in a bar. We're sitting on lockdown here. Is there money on this game? Uh, I wish there's drinks. It's a friendly, it's a friendly tunny game. It's called a tunny game. What is it? Tunny. 
Tani means what? what like no, like Tani, like Tani. I know, like a Otani. Yeah, no, 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 it's like a poker game. It's like a poker game. It's like a rowdy little game. Friendships have been broken over this game. Wives have been lost. It's never a game. We're not always together. These guys talk about pinkies and things like that. Pinkies, really? That big. <laughs> I, 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 I know a fisherman's that tail. Big. That big. Exactly. Yeah. So where do you guys want to fish? Right here off White Clay. Yeah, we yeah. fished off of White Clay. And then we went down to where the river mouth is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we call all our fish here. We fish, fish under club rules. So yeah. we're very strict with, with how we fish and what we do. And what we take and what we throw back. E even with fish, you know, sometimes you can always catch in abundance. But yeah. how much do you actually want to take? If we're supporting the locals, anything that's undersized, we don't entertain. But we also make it known to them that this, this is legal, which we prepare to buy, this we like to. They braved the elements, we found refuge in the bar, catching up on admin before the big rugby match, and ran into a local hero. I use it for everything. I use it for all wounds. Try not lick it off, okay? And I'm going to hold it like this for a while to dry. <laughs> so cool, eh? Uh, so, yeah. Oscar, is, uh, they run a really, really cool organization, Pet Animal Lifeline. You know, when you cruise around the Transcar and you're an animal lover like we are, it really breaks your heart because there's so many dogs cruising around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys are at least trying to make a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, after this wow. next sterilization drive, I'll be sorry, 70% sterilized. And people have already started saying, so like, wow, I see the dogs are healthier. Why? Because they've just been vaccinated, ticks and flea treatments. Yeah. And also trying to persuade the oaks to sterilize their dogs is a huge thing in these past. The advantages of sterilizing a dog, besides having all the offspring that die and suffer in that dying, so it's all donation based. Well, people so, don't need to be here, be here you know. Yeah, you, yeah but they can involved. see they can see the work that we're doing. And, yeah. Super cool. Back here, Amelia, happy my baby. Hey, get that little paw fixed. <laughs> So a lot of our Justice Sea Authority's route planning is undecided at this stage. But the one thing we did make sure of is that wherever we were on World Cup Rugby Final Day, there would be a TV and connectivity to watch. The bit I love is that our friends that we made at Wild and Bunsy have driven through to join us for the game, which is awesome. The last time I was kind of away from home for a World Cup rugby game was actually for the Jimmy Gathering in Clarence when South Africa played against Ireland. That did not go so well. I'm hoping that we're going to bring some Justice Here for his luck to this and it's going to go our way. Go Boca!
much more attention can we take? One point. Today, Sunday, 29th October, and all I can say to you is, morning champions, yes it's that day, to wake up with a hangover when you're a world champion, it just feels so much better. So now we're going to have the breakfast of champions too. The sun is also out, thank flipping heaven, so we're going to try and finally get to go and see Hole in the Wall, so all round fantastic day. Emotions, emotions. I live in Port Elizabeth and I know how things work on the coast. In the morning, it's calm, the sun's out, you go and you get what you need to get <laughs> instead of having a lazy breakfast. So we've rocked up at Holden Wall now at 12 o'clock and the wind is absolutely blitzing. You can't even get out the car. So this is our view of Holden Wall from up here. I should be down there in the hole with my son having fun. Honestly, this baffles my brain completely because it's like, figure this out. You find a beautiful beach, you come here to enjoy the view, you even make a little fire, and then you sit here and you toss your bloody bottles on the grass, leave them where you found them, when right over here is a thing called a bin. You see this? Mm, tosses, I promise you. It actually really irritates the out of me. It's not that hard. It's actually crazy, you know, there are these tourist spots, everyone talks about hole in the wall and those sort of places, but literally everywhere is a viewpoint. I mean, we've just driven down this little road and I saw a little path to the side and I've just driven onto this cliff edge and have a look at that. I mean, that's Coffee Bay down there. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, you don't want to go to the edge because it's a flipping long drop down, but just have a look at this. Like, literally point your camera and it's beauty. It's, it's honestly such a special place. And we've got a, a nice little break in the in the weather now as well. So yeah, trying to make the most of it. It's very cool. Hey guys. Hello babies. Hello my baby. Hello. But that weather break was short-lived. Life's too short to have crap coffee. 
that come into Coffee Bay, I'm expecting to get good coffee. This place gives you coffee with a real high, but I'm not here for the high, I'm just here for the coffee. What are you doing? We are creating some stoned ground coffee. We I've don't mess about here. I've never seen that before. I mean, there's actually something so grounded about this. Oh, geez, it's a bad pun. But there is something so grounded about grinding your coffee beans in a stone. This is the traditional way. Cool. You know, this is how we used to do it back in the day. All of our grains would also be ground this way into flowers and yeah. This is the OG way of um, making coffee. I'm fresh in Coffee Bay. I've been traveling for the last 10 years of my life just researching psychoactive plants, animals and fungi. I did actually put in a, a request for the Garden of Eden, but then they sent me to the Garden of Eden. I'm not complaining, but like, it is hard to function being stoned all the time. Certain spots in the world just have magic and the trans guy is one of those spots, you know. This is just the right place to get good seafood, have good coffee, eat a magic mushroom, smoke a spliff and... Have know, a good life. Enjoy, enjoy reality. <laughs> have a cup of reality, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's cool. We're obviously heading out of Coffee Bay tomorrow morning. I'm heading up towards Port St. John's. But I'm going to take a bit of Coffee Bay with me. Yay! Best coffee in the world. Coffee Bay coffee. Even served on crystals, bro. Really. <laughs> makes a difference. Huh? This is why it's really cool to chat to locals and hang out with them because it was Carl at Rock Cafe that told us to come to Entata Mouth. Uh, I actually wish we were uh, earlier in the day because I'd love to get my sup out and head across to there. But we all arrived here and the first thing we did, we looked down at these stones and we were like kids. The simplest things in life put the biggest smiles on your face, like skipping a stone across the water. It's proper. Except that was cock. Here's the one. <laughs> so lekker. This place is beautiful, man. So good. today is even prettier. Why? Champions of the world. So good. I know we're meant to be like, oh, this is so much fun and it's flipping amazing, but the reality is every now and then you just hot fall and you've had enough. Um, truthfully, the weather's been <laughs> We obviously trashed our awning, as you know, on like day two or three. But irrespective, even if the awning was sorted, when it's windy like this, you can't use it. And the hassle that we then have is that we can't cook because now it's raining. And I want to be having like all these cool, relaxed evenings and, and sitting around the camp and, and none of that sort of stuff is happening. Yeah, it was impossible for us to have done at home. And the place that we're staying at, you know, there's locked. There's nowhere to sit. There's nowhere to hang out. So, yeah, we're either getting into our tent and going to sleep hungry or we're making a plan. And we managed to get hold of uh, Lindy at Sunset Sushi. She's closed, but she's opened to look after us. We walk in here and she's like put beds down for the dogs. And it's just that level of service that then puts a smile on your face. I mean, she's got a sign up that says we don't do fast food, we do good food. 
and you said to us, oh, I'll try and throw something together, you know, stuff I've got left because I am closed. And then you get a spread like this. It's just, <laughs> hey, like, I'm, I actually am blown away. I'm not paid to say this, but if you do come to Coffee Bay, <laughs> come to Sunset Sushi, it's just amazing. to be heading today up to my mate Buri Boitz's place, Wild Child. Um, he's got three camps up near Port St. John's. <laughs> the, the weather is not looking good for the whole entire week, so now it's like I've just messaged them to see if they can accommodate us later, because it's been dreadful up that side too, and they reckon in like from the second they can shift things. Or we've got to go now and deal with the weather, or do we just get the hell out of the Trans Sky and go inland and just reroute everything and come back down to Port St. John's at the end of our trip. These are the things I've got to now, got to now try and figure out because it's just not fun if we're going to be here for a whole week and you can't do anything. I mean, I don't mind it being a little bit wet, but just the wind and the and the rain, that is a combination just flipping creates one that you don't end up enjoying it at all. Then camping just becomes a ball ache and I don't feel like a ball ache. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I mean, it's too soon. It's too soon after winning the Rugby World Cup to not be in a good mood. I mean, yesterday we were the champions. We're still the champions today. Thanks for making me smile, Zander. I need it. <laughs> it's like one of the the guests at Ndumbi backpack because boss is bored and he's got stuck in the rip over there. I'm gonna try and get across and help him. <laughs> this is <coughs> chili bean paste. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning with um, my bottom looking like the Japanese flag. <laughs> the sky bees just a feel Coming up to Underberg, only seven degrees. There is apparently snow on the mountain. It is freezing cold. Rainy days never felt so nice. 